Yo, what's going on guys? Rocka here, bringing you a new video. Um, today's video is going to be about recruiting for Unreal Gaming. Uh, we went over that a little bit last, last video, but I really want to touch everything that we're looking for. Um, that way we're picking up the right people. Now, before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about the Varric site. Um, if you're having trouble getting nuclears or um, you're having problems with recoil on your weapons, whatever the case is, put a Varric site on it. I'm not, I'm not like a fan of the Varric site. I can use any gun, but I tried the Varric site this game and I went 94 kills solo on Nuketown. So I figured I'd show you guys this video for all you guys that are trying to get better or trying to get better gameplays, etc., etc. Now, the Varric site literally eliminates recoil completely like there is no recoil if you watch this video you'll see the vmp i don't i don't think i have uh i don't even think i have grip on the vmp and the vmp without grip is actually pretty bouncy but with the barrack sight on it there's literally zero recoil it's insane you can map kids no problem up close no problem just make sure that you zoom it out one spot um so my advice to all you guys trying to get better gameplays Granted, you're gonna make people mad with it. Whatever, you know. If you enjoy playing like that, then play like that. Um, I don't necessarily play like that. I just tried it once, and this is how good it really is. Um, so, you guys should definitely try the Varric site. Um, just, just to really see what it does. I mean, it literally eliminates all recoil. There's no recoil on your weapon. Now, let's uh, let's get more into Unreal Gaming. Um, we're now recruiting, but we're not we're not hosting tryouts or anything like that. Basically, if you want to join Unreal Gaming, uh, one you need to be a pub star. You need to be an above average player at Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Two, you need to be extremely active. Uh, three, you need to be extremely supportive, uh, which I'll get more into that. Um, you need to be able to change your name and rep, rep the UNRL gamertag, um, which we're known by. Um, and that's pretty much... And then there's maturity. We don't, we don't want to pick up, you know, there are younger kids that are pretty mature, but the majority of people that we've been looking at, they're either too immature, too inactive, not supportive at all. And they just, you know, they just want to be on a team just to be on a team. There's a bunch of other teams out there that you can join that are just looking for members. And you'll have tons and tons and tons of people to play with. Now, as far as Unreal Gaming, we're looking for the people that want to see Unreal Gaming grow. They want to they want to be part of the movement. They want to, um, they want to see us expand and grow uh, throughout the Call of Duties, throughout different games, etc., etc. Now, our Twitter, uh, we've been on Twitter for, I think, like a year and a half, two years, and we have around 1.4k followers on Twitter. Our Twitter support from our members is pretty decent. Um, it could be a little better, and our members could be working on, you know, building their Twitters, so when we retweet stuff, it goes out to more people, and we get more exposure. Um, but we're... If you end up joining, it's basically... Or if you're wanting to join, it's basically up to you. You're gonna just you're gonna make the final decision if you're gonna be able to join or not. Um, if you if you're already above average skill level, then you don't really have to worry about that very much. You just more or less need to worry about taking the initiative. Um, add everybody in Unreal. There's only like 14 or 15 of us. Add everybody in Unreal. When you want to, you know, when you're online, jump in our parties. Our parties are always open. We always have like 14 people in our parties. Um, and ask to play. You know what I'm saying? We're looking for pop stars, so the comp players that want to play UMGs and stuff all the time, this isn't really the place for you. We're not we're not really ready to fund a team to play for us on PS4 or anything like that yet. Um, so we're more working on our pub division, pretty much. Uh, so basically, you gotta take you gotta take the initiative. You know, hit us up. Don't don't expect us to come find you. If you're wanting to join, you need to prove it. Uh, then then that comes down to you know supporting us on our social media, favorite the team page, retweet our stuff. You know, if we post a stream or we post a video or we post an announcement, retweet it. 
retweet it to your followers. Um, uh, then also jump in our streams. We have like three or four streamers. If we post a stream, jump in the stream. Even if you just jump in for 10 minutes, just to, you know, say what's up, watch a little bit of gameplay, and then just leave the stream on, pause it, and leave it open as for another viewer. That's good too. Um, when we post our YouTube videos, post some feedback. We need a lot of feedback on our YouTube videos. It's been a while since I posted, um, because honestly, I didn't really know what to post. But I know that we've been trying to recruit lately, and we're not having very much luck recruiting because, like I said, people are they are just not meeting the expectations. Now, we did bring in two people that are extremely supportive, extremely active. They're great players and everything, and that's, that's what we're looking for. We're not looking to have, you know, 100, 200 members. We're just looking to expand a little bit so we can run multiple lobbies and we can have you know a small group of people like you know 20 or 30 working together to help make unreal blow up <clears throat> so you got you got your skill level you got your support on social media the, the support on social media is a huge thing we want to blow up on social media we do that we get uh we get more access to sponsors and stuff like that um the YouTube videos, leave feedback on the videos, like the videos, the more likes we get, the higher in the ratings we get. I think we get a good amount of views on our videos because we really just started. We've been sh doing YouTube for what, three months? And we're getting 100 plus views a video, so we're doing pretty good on there. Um, maturity, uh, that that's pretty much explains itself. Sometimes we pick up people and they just annoy a lot of people, and then we just decide not to pick them up. Uh, you kind of got to fit in. Um, a lot of us are older. We we got some younger ones that are still in school and stuff, but a lot of us are older, and we just we want to get on here, have fun, smack everybody we play, which obviously doesn't happen because we're not the best. You know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of teams out there that can beat us, but we are you know a top team. So. Uh, then you have gamer tag change. It's very important that you're able to change your gamer tag. I know all these these uh, these new gamer tags things came out where people are getting OG gamer tags like you know oh my gamer tags rock like literally R O C K and I'm never gonna change it because it's awesome. I personally, in my opinion, I think that's a little overrated now because literally every gamer or every game that you get in, you're gonna see an OG. You know, quotation marks, OG gamer tag. They're not very OG anymore now that everyone has them. So, um, but for you to change your name, it's very important because it's our brand. Unreal, UNRL is what we're known by in pubs on in the Call of Duty community. Um, we don't have like any comp players or anything like that. Like I said, we're not really ready to fund a team or anything like that. So, um, then it comes down to activity. You know, if you if you have a if you work 60 hours a week or you you know you're just never on, then this isn't really the place for you. Now, if you're online all the time and you like to grind for your rank or whatever the case is, we play pubs and we play arena. Um, I think right now a lot of our guys are trying to grind for masters in arena, um, but there was a huge setback. They just redid the uh, the season. I was level 18 and they put me all the way back to 10, so I got some grinding to do myself. But we play pubs and we play arena and we're looking for people, you know, that do the same thing, above average players. So uh, just, just a quick recap of what we're looking for. Activity, extremely active. Support, extremely supportive on all social media. You basically got to show us you want in. Show us that you can support the cause. Um, gamer tag change, that's obviously when you join. If you have the dedication to change your name, then, you know, there's some, some level of loyalty there. Um, maturity, you got to fit in. It's simple as that. You got to fit in with everybody. I mean, we like to joke around and have fun, but we also like to win. So, um, then what's the other thing? I'm missing something here. I think that was it. Uh, you got gamer tags, gamer tag change, activity, skill level, support. Yeah, so you don't need to you don't need to stream or anything. You don't need to produce content or anything. We just we're just looking for people that are really supportive. I mean, streamers are welcome. That's fine. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.